by some angle called S in E angle. When this angle is above the normal, we call this patient with maxillary excess. And the most important that we choose the right time for the treatment, which is below the age of five years old. We have to make a difference between one dental stage called proclination of the anterior teeth and maxillary excess. In this condition, we will find the skeletal reading are normal. And we just have a problem with the dental reading. In this condition, we can start the treatment by a more easier, easier way, by using a removable appliance just to retract the upper anterior teeth. And we can find the relation and correct it by this way. Let's move to another problem, which is mandibular deficiency. We have plenty of appliances that is used for treatment of mandibular deficiency. And evidence there for us that all of these appliances treat the overjet. And we really reduce the overjet using these appliances. But unfortunately, all of this result was due to alveolar compensation without any skeletal effect. Another evidence in 2017 tell for us there is little increase in mandibular lens in both vertical and anterior posterior dimension. And to get this skeletal effect, you need to choose the proper the right time for the treatment. What is the right time for the treatment is peripubertal time. How can we identify the peripubertal time? We have something called a cross indicator. Hand wrist x-ray, flanges of the middle finger, developmental stage of the teeth, and cervical vertebrae maturation. But unfortunately, nothing of this method is 100% reliable for the treatment. But still, the evidence that for us, we can depend on hand wrist x-ray and cervical vertebrae maturation to predict the beat of the mandibular cross. Let's have a look for this case. This boy is 15 years old, presented with complex profile, competent lip, increased overage, canine relationship and molar relationship, half unit plus two. Panoramic X-ray no abnormality detected, deficient mandible, and just with functional appliance twin block, we can have these results. We have another case. This boy is 13 years old, presented with complex profile, incompetent lip, increased overage, canine relation, half unit cluster, no abnormality detected, deficient mandible work line upper anterior teeth, and after the twin block stage, we have correction for all the overage, and after fixed appliance, we correct the whole map occlusion. And we can see here the profile of the patient, of the treatment. Now we will move for another skeletal problem, which is class three. Class three can happen as the result of excess mandible or deficient maxilla. We treat mandibular excess by, by one appliance called the chain cap. But after the treatment with this appliance, we have a relapse because of late mandibular cross space. So it is not recommended that we, we start treatment of mandibular excess at the early stage. For the cases with deficient maxilla, evidence tell for us that using extra oral appliance can have a positive effect in both skeletal and dental reading. And again, the timing of the treatment is very important. We can decide the proper timing for the treatment according to the dental age with eruption of upper incisor or according to the uh, chronological age before the age of nine years or according to the skeletal age with CV1 and CV2. Let's have a look for this patient. She presented with skeletal plus 3 anterior cross plate, and after the using of the face mask, we can see the improvement in the profile and correction of anterior cross plate. And she still undergo the treatment up to now. How does face mask appliance work? It consists of two bars. It has an extra oral bar, which we have to fix it over our face by this way, and we start to use elastic between the intraoral part and between the extraoral part. 
anterior cross bile. Sometimes we can see some doctors making mixing between anterior cross bile and between the skeletal plus three. Anterior cross bite come in two form, single tooth or multiple teeth. The problem with the single tooth usually a traumatic occlusion, as we can see here. For the multiple teeth, the patient is more you, it's more difficult to treat this patient, and it looks like a profile of uh, class B patient with a pseudo class three. Treatment time: we should start the treatment as early as possible to decrease the side effect, and this side effect usually the traumatic occlusion. Unfortunately, we don't have an evidence make a link between correction of the cross bite and TMD. TMJ disorder. Because some doctor try to recommend their patient to treat this problem to avoid TMD problem. But we don't have any relation between anterior cross bite and TMD problem. But still, we can tell for our patient that we're treating anterior cross bite to avoid traumatic occlusion. We can start, look, let's have a look for this patient. She had anterior cross bite in just a single tooth and we can use the most simple way by applying a glass anomer on the incisal edge of the upper incisor. And by this way, we increase the vertical dimension and the anterior cross bite can be corrected spontaneously. When we have anterior cross bite in more than one tooth like two D's, we can start to use an intraoral appliance to recline upper anterior teeth. We can see here the improvement after two months, and here the improvement after four months. For this patient, it has more difficult situation. She has anterior cross bite in whole anterior segment. What's your first impression about this case? It looks like mandibular excess. If you think like this, you are completely wrong. Because by asking the patient to bite in the centric relation, we will find the relation between the mandible and maxilla completely changed. And by just increasing the arch length of the maxilla, we can find that we treat anterior cross bite. And now we will move for another problem is arch lengthening. What is the arch lengthening? It is the process that we increase arch length either by distalization of the posterior segment or by reclination of the anterior teeth. Before you take the reclination of the anterior teeth as an option, you need to check the following. This inclination, the profile of the patient. Let's have a look for this patient. This patient had a complex profile with anterior cross spine. And just after arch lengthening, we can correct the profile and we correct the overture. Other arch distalization. In some cases that we can have moderate to severe crowding case like what we have right now. And unfortunately, we cannot extract in this teeth in this case because the profile does not allow us for extraction. And in this condition, we need to find another option for the treatment which is upper arch distalization. Miniscrow is the best choice for distalization, but unfortunately, with young age patients, we cannot go on for miniscrow, as the bone is still soft, and it is, will not stay in its place. So we need to find an alternative way for distalization. We have many appliances that can be used for distalization to relieve of the crowding. Not only for the curling, we can even correct the molar relationship. If you can see here, this patient has a plus two half unit molar relationship. And by distalization, by the pendulum appliance, we corrected this molar relationship to plus one. I recommend all of you to read this article for this great doctor about distalization. It will tell you about the right and for the treatment, which is before eruption of the second molar about the choice of best appliance between intraoral and extraoral appliances and many advices that you will find it inside this article. Lower arch distalization. 
The most clear uh, classical appliance for lower arch crystallization is lip bumper. But from my clinical experience, it was not effective at all. I tried this appliance for more than one time and without any results. And I recommend all of you to use cervical hip gear to distalize in the lower arch. It's really very effective. Some something. Another problem that we face it in Egypt so much. This normal habit developed intrauterine, and it needs to be stopped at the age of the four years. And if it continues after the age of the four years, we can have malocclusion. The criteria of this malocclusion is anterior asymmetric and open pilot with midline shift and posterior cross pilot. We shall treat this problem as early as possible. We have to be option of the treatment for this problem. Non-physical methods, we need to speak to the child to understand what is the problem that he has. Sometimes I bring the patient and I start even to walk the parents outside and I start to talk to him and tell for him, I know that you forget and you put your, your, your finger in your mouth unintentionally. I will just want you, when you come home, to put something to remind you not to do this before you sleep. And in the next time when they come to visit me, I find that there is a response, and really they stop to do that. And if this uh, way or if this plan is doesn't work, we have to go for another way, which is an extra oral physical method. We start to use some appliances on the hand as a reminder, and we should explain this for the child very well and we should tell for them that this is not punishment. It just works as a reminder for you, so you can remember this. And if this way is failed, we have to move for intraoral appliances, which is thumb guard. In this case, as we can see, she presented with asymmetrical open bite. Unfortunately, she didn't have posterior cross bite because the frequency of the habit was not enough to make posterior cross bite, and it just treated why? Thank you. You can follow me on this website and welcome for the questions. Your questions? I'm sorry because an asymptotic relative is easy with the regulation without the other academic building.